going on everybody we have a very different video today if you haven't already heard about the Asbury University revival that's where we are right now it started last Wednesday I believe and it's been non-stop it's now Wednesday this week so however many hours are in a week it's literally been non-stop we're walking into one of the um, chapels one of the churches right now and I'm gonna try to get a few clips if not I'll do a little voiceover while we're at the gym. We drove like two and a half hours up here and it is still packed everywhere. There's lines going outside of every single chapel, but it's amazing what God can do. This is my friend's dad, and he, he he's gonna pray for anyone this week right here. So I'll say, welcome home. The idea that only in church when we gather is that associated with worship. And actually that's false because the bear, as soon as she said that, he just yapped, like, and, and we had, like, really still. We are leaving right now. It is 12:20 in the morning, and it, it's still pretty packed in there. Um, I think they're closing down for like one to noon, just for the college students because they normally have service on Wednesdays. But um, I'm coming back on Sunday. I'll do a little bit more of a recap whenever I get home, probably or tomorrow. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. And before anybody says anything, yes, I know I look like a sweet tart, but the fit kind of goes hard. Okay, let's talk about what's going on at Asbury right now. From what I experienced, we stayed for about five to six hours, and I honestly did not want to leave. A majority of what's going on is worship. However, there are different um, staff members. There are different people from all over the country that have came in to talk and give their testimonies. Through worship, everybody is involved and you can tell that the Spirit is moving among many souls and it is saving many lives. It's honestly insane to see the result that it has given so far, considering that many other revivals have been broken out very recently and the widespread of recognition it has gotten on social media, such as like TikTok, YouTube, and it's even been on the news recently. So some may not know what the point of a revival is, and the whole concept is to repent of our worldly behaviors and to return back to Jesus. I had actually seen a TikTok where this guy was describing his experience at Asbury, which he only stayed for like two hours when this thing has been going on. I know for sure around 160 hours at the time recording, he said that there wasn't any repentance involved, when actually this whole revival started off with a group of students actually repenting. You even just seen a clip of one of the speakers talking about repenting and turning from your old ways. So personally, I think that this is amazing, not only for the university and for the people around, but for the whole United States and even the world. If you have the capability or the means to experience this while this is going on, I would definitely recommend it. If you have any knowledge upon the Bible and the world events that are going on today and then the prophecies within the book of revelations and throughout the whole bible are actually explaining what's going on with that said there's no secret that our savior jesus christ is returning soon the thing about christianity is that it is not a gated community i mean god literally sent his only son so he could die for each and every one of us to have eternal life also since you're seeing me lift right now christianity is a lot like bodybuilding you must always be broken down to be built back stronger anyways while this event is happening and i got to experience it I figured that I would share this with you guys. By no means am I any expert, but I'm willing to say that Jesus is king. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. God bless.